Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. I am going to um, give this little girl her, <clears throat> her binky. I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> a lot of you guys, as soon as I started the video, I like went to choke on something. So guys, please subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up make sure you share it with all your friends and make sure that you are following me on my blog miss serenity smith babies.com and follow me on instagram and join the chat box i have a list of things for you to do you know um take the time to support your girl in this world i'm trying to do some things around here in this dolly world a lot of special little projects coming up but at the same time i am um i have been working on customs and stuff and um i don't know you know i was able it's kind of hard when you're painting in the baby's mouths and stuff like especially with silicone because you don't want them to stick together but the inside of her mouth, I wish you guys could see it. Like her gums and stuff look so freaking real. Like the color came out so perfect. And when I say came out perfect, it's because a lot of times when I paint, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just mixing. Um, And then I tweaked her tongue quite a bit after she came back from being rooted. And it's like the perfect color. And um, so I don't know. It's just really cute. But... I really love her with this pacifier. I didn't, the Willows are not really my most favorite passy babies normally, but this pacifier, her and Nigel have been looking really cute with it. So, Noah's still not pretty much not a passy baby. I kind of like to look at his little lips and stuff. I like looking at theirs too, but they look so cute with the pacifier. But yeah, so, um, you know, I was, I, I've been looking at a lot of little videos and stuff. And of course, you know, like I said, we all enjoy, you know, seeing what's going on, hearing the tea, who, who got what, who's not happy with what, you know, all that great stuff. Um, but you know what? I, I, I get just as much excitement out of seeing someone getting a baby that they've been you know wanting for a long time and they get really really you know hyped up about it and i love good box openings and um changing videos and you know natural role play and all that jazz you know so i do love the positive videos as well but you know what i realized for me um, because I've been so busy, I haven't been able to really like make videos for you guys and stuff as much because I've been painting, I'm finishing up customs and I've been working on some private babies for my personal collection. Um, and also a few things that's going to, well, I will be also making a few babies for my private collection that I won't share publicly, but I will show the ones that I make just for my regular personal collection. Um, and I've, so I've been so busy. Like I've been, you know, my job has been busy, this been busy. So I, with all that going on, I haven't had a chance to really make real videos. And so since I haven't been able to make real videos, I've been, like in between when I take a little break you know 15 minutes here 20 minutes there I'll come and sit down in the nursery and you know just look around or change out my baby's clothes and stuff like that and I really just started looking around and I'm like wow I have a beautiful collection and I was like I could stop right here and be good not that I think I will but I'm just saying um you know baby ada i dressed her the other day she's so stinking cute in her little yellow and white and you know i just i dressed um baby brie you know i just like been really 
admire my babies. I'm just, I've been on edge though. I'm still waiting. It's going on two weeks for my limb head. <laughs> and so it's, it's, it's driving me insane. Um, tracking, haven't updated or anything. So I'm going crazy about that. I mean, I'm really, really like sad about it. Like real sad about it. Um, I'm going to get fat if you don't hurry up and come because I've been stress eating. Um, but, you know, you look around and you, it's, the thing is, is what I was getting at is that sometimes you, you, you kind of be so busy looking at other things, other dolls, new dolls, new sculpts, um, looking at other people collections and, you know, just other things that you and you that you see it and you want it. I've seen a couple of videos where people were talking about like we're enablers, like you see stuff and then they be like, oh, they make you want to go shop and stuff like that. Not in a bad way, like you know, like I told um, someone contacted me the other day and was t telling me something, and I told him I said, you know, I have accepted my role in the doll community, and I I am an influencer. And when I come on and I share my collection with you guys, I'm not sharing it to say, look what I got. You can't get it. I'm sharing it to say, hey, look what's out here. There's beautiful babies out here. Oh, so-and-so painted this baby. You know what? So-and-so is a good artist. You know, check them out. It's, you know, I know that when I show you know, oh, I've been shopping at, you know, Carter's or H&M or whatever that other people are going to say, oh, let me go check them out. And then they're going to buy and shop for their babies. And that's perfectly OK, because that's what an influencer is. If I was not any good at what I did, then people wouldn't buy what I buy or like what I buy. So it's it's the hugest compliment. And I'm so humbly grateful that I can inspire others with their collection and with their dress codes and all that stuff. And trust me, honey, I think my dress code is as basic as they come. But <laughs> I will say, I do think, as arrogant as my sound, I do think I have a really good eye for color. And you know, that was one of the things, and I, I try not to talk much about my personal experiences and I, I'll, how about I'll leave the name out. But when I was at a doll show and this very, um, very popular, um, sculptor was walking around and I didn't know who they were and I wasn't looking up. I was just walking and I was talking and I was kind of like, there was babies lined up for, a uh, um, test like a, a contest and I was you were we were to vote and as I was going I was like ah, oh, this baby could have used a little bit more of this color now this was before I was painting and I was like huh that, they went a little too, too bit too much with the red here oh yeah da 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 and I was like oh, oh this one is nice but if they would have just did this da 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 da, da I think it would have been nicer you know I was just kind of talking out in my head I when I first walked up to the table, there was no one around. So I was just kind of talking to myself out loud. And it was funny because then I heard a laugh. I said something and I heard like a chuckle on the other side. And that's when I looked up and then they said, it's funny. They said something like, wow, you really know your stuff you know your colors or something like that or you know your or something like that but later when i found out who that person was i was floored <laughs> but i was like oh my god you know type thing but so i think i do i think um i remember back in the day um there was another artist i used to buy from all the time and we became you know good friends at the time you know at least i i thought and um they used to tell me that all the time so i think i think I, it's fair to say that i do have a good eye for for color or pick out some good dolls and find seek out the good artists out the crew um and it's quite a bit out here now so i don't even know half of them anymore 
Um, but I don't like try to give out recommendations anymore per se, but you know, if I have a baby in my collection, of course I'm gonna speak on it, you know? I'm not gonna, I don't think it's fair to the artist to not, you know, give them credit for their work if they did a great job. Like we so busy like tearing down other people, you know, for what they're not doing, why not? So I don't mind when someone go out and get a doll like me or, you know, get an outfit like me or, you know, do this or do that. Um, you know, sometimes it can be a little naggy if like, I don't know, I guess if it's like every single thing is like, gosh, did you go see a wizard for a brain type thing? Like, you know, but, <laughs> but no, I think that, um, I think that that's perfectly okay. So, um, I say, I say all that to say, you know, appreciate your collection enjoy this hobby it is so much fun when you stop looking for the negatives and you stop you know dwelling on it it's one thing when you sit girl now everybody gonna have that team everybody gonna have that one friend that you're gonna sit up everybody talk about everybody i don't care what nobody say everybody talk about nobody and some of the people that say they don't talk about nobody i have texts where you've talked about people so that ain't even true so don't even tell me that everybody talk about somebody you just have that one person that you think you can trust which is the bad the bad part because later when that thing fall out and blow up they will put yourself all over social media she said this and here's my receipts <laughs> you'd be like dang i wish i would have text that <laughs> but anyway um but yeah you you know don't get me wrong i sit there and how my girl talk with my home girl about, you know, oh, girl, you see, girl, she tried it, you know, blah, 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 all this stuff. But, you know, to sit and just be miserable over stuff, mm -mm, I can't. I got too much real life stuff to be dealing with to be worried about and focused on than to be um, turning my hobby into crap. But I, like I said, everybody loves some good tea. You know, I'll follow it. I'll look at it every now and then. Now, if it keep going on and it's the same thing for 20 years, like, child, I can't be bothered. I mean, it's only so much you can say about that. You've drug it through the mill now. Let's move on. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh. And she has like the cutest, I don't know, her, her eye color. Like her eye color and Nigel eye color are different. And he is just, cause you know, here's a funny thing. Child with this pandemic going on, it's hard to get everything. Like everything is so slow and backed up and you know, just trying to shop and do the things that the normal basic things that we took for granted you can't do it so fluid like you know i'm sitting there making my grocery list and before the pandemic i used to order online shop online so i'm sitting there and i'm like okay i want you know four cans of corn you know i'm just giving an example you know i can't even get van camp pork and beans i don't i haven't ate, ate them in so long and i was craving i was like oh you know what? i should give me some pork and beans they sold out of pork and beans who the heck buying all the pork and beans so it's like, you can't, and then they have a limit. Child, you be trying to hit past two, the thing be stuck. Cause you can only get two of this and two of that or one of this. Oh my God, it's crazy. Like the other day, I was buying toilet tissue. I know. I literally bought different brands just so I can get multiple packs of toilet tissue. Now, before the pandemic, before people go to judging, before the pandemic, I've always been a person to stack up on like paper towels, toilet tissue, uh, soap, um, cleaning supplies. I've always kept quite a bit of a backup. For one, I'm so used to having this, um, having a large family. Look at that baby. <laughs> um, you know, having a family of six you know, five kids and me, 
in the house has been, you know, that's a lot. You know, a lot, lot, lot going on there. So I'm used to always having a lot. So that's, you know, that's the norm for me. So I like to stack up um, and keep a decent supply. And I really haven't did that since a little bit before, well, right when the pandemic started. So anyway, I had to do that because they won't let you get more than like one pack her brand it's it's the craziest thing so I don't know uh, you know it you're with your reborn supplies all that stuff I've been trying to think of what all I need and order up I got some alcohol the other day I was so excited for the first time it's been so long since I've been able to get alcohol uh, I I finally stocked up on alcohol because I use alcohol a lot um, cleaning, wiping down like my workstations and stuff. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go, I guess, you know, let me know guys. Um, I don't know, but I know cause I have a video that I have planned to come up as soon, as soon, as soon, as soon as I just need to do a few more things and I'll be able to get that video up for you guys. I got some some other stuff planned, some fun stuff planned for you, for my channel coming up too. So, what you do? What you do? <laughs> like she is like, what you do? Look. Okay. Anyway, let me see what size this is. This is, this is a one to two month. So she wears, sometimes she wears zero to one month, sometimes she wears one to two month. But anyway, all right, ladies, talk to you guys later. Have fun, get your coffee. Um, let's do a chatterbox live. What is tonight? Let's prepare for Friday night live, okay? Talk to you guys later. I, I may do a live here on the gym pop this weekend or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to do a chatterbox live Friday night. All right. Bye.